Hey guys, it's Vienna. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. On the last part, we headed through the rock tunnel and we ended up in Lavender Town, which is a place of kind of creepy music. But hey, I like the purple. I saw Cubone's mother die trying to escape from Team Rocket. What the heck? Cubones wear skulls, right? People will pay a lot for one. Okay, sure. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold. <laughs> which is weird because... Honestly, I thought Team Rocket's motives were to get the best Pokemon in the world so that they can rule the world with the best Pokemon. I thought that was their motif. In the anime, as much as they're going after Ash's Pikachu, they always get defeated by the Pikachu and thus they always feel as if it is the best Pokemon in the world. Um, I didn't get any items when I was out there so I don't even know why I'm trying to use that. Uh, anyway, here in Lavender Town there's a few things you can do. Uh, firstly, here's the... Volunteer Pokemon House. There's volunteers. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? That's a Nidorino. Could you differentiate it from the Psyduck? Me neither. <laughs> this is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. Looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Yes. There are orphans in Pokemon despite the fact that they're in the wild. This town is known as the Graveside of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in the Pokemon Tower. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the Rockets killed. Yes! We're dealing with... Nope. That white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. What? So they're all... <laughs> this, is, this is actually a very odd place in the game. There you go. Do you know where I can get them? I especially like the the sale sign in the back, even though there's never any sales. Oh, dude, dude, are they selling revives here? Yes, they sell revives. They also sell great balls and super potions, which is very nice, and super repels. Super repels, I believe, um, uh, are like regular repels, except they work for 350 steps, or maybe it's 400. I don't know. Uh, and I know that there's a max repel later, which does 500 steps. They're actually very cheap, but the problem is like they're completely optional, and if you're very f if you have a very fast Pokemon, then you can run away easy. Also, you can get Burn Hills, I think, or Ice Hills, Ice Hills, uh, if you really want to. I don't really need to sell anything uh, on me. I don't need my Escape Rivers if I've got the Abra in my party, but yeah. We also have a couple of other houses. We have this one with a guy. Hello, hello. He's the official name raider. No. He doesn't give it a score out of 10, he literally changes it for you. You get, to you get to tell him what you want it to be, though. But yeah, I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. What is... Is this the Cubone? I don't know. Okay, well... Now, there's a couple of things we can do. You can head south, but you'll get stopped by the sleeping Pokemon. Remember how we saw that sleeping Pokemon when we went over? Um, down to Route 12, and thus we couldn't proceed east from Vermilion. This is this route connects it, and unfortunately, you, you're still stuffed by the sleeping Pokemon. Uh, you can also head east. Uh, you, sorry, you can head west. Uh, this will lead you to Celadon. We can go to Celadon, but um, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'm not going to go there right now, mainly because we have this place. Wow, and you know what's the worst part? The entire game has gone all, like, pale brown. Like, this is just sad. This is, this is so disturbingly sad. This place. I'm, I really don't like the Pokemon Tower. Not just because it actually gets kind of annoying. To, it, not because it gets annoying to fight everyone. But because it actually gets ridiculously sad just trying to go through this place. Uh, also... <laughs> look who's here! What brings you here? Your Pokémon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. What? <laughs> now, there, there are a few... Dead. I can't speak now. Um, there are a few theories explaining why Blue is here at the Pokémon Tower. And I want you to notice... Something is missing from his party. And if you look on the side, you'll notice he's got a Pidgeotto, 
an Execute, a Gyarados, a Kadabra, and a Starter. But he used to have Eradicate, didn't he? And here's where the theory's kicking. People think that Ash killed his Radicate after the battle, and he is paying his respects to the Radicate. It's 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 a long shot. I'll tell you that. I'm I'm not too big on it. Anyway, this is Execute. Uh, for some odd reason, in this game his sprite, the back egg is really big. In later games, they're all kind of the same size. Execute is a Grass type. It it doesn't look like it. Uh. It evolves via Leaf Stone, it's got some pretty good moves, its special stats are really high, and it actually ends up being one of the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, the problem is, if you evolve with the Leaf Stone, you do miss out on moves, but perfectly honest, if you were holding out for a Grass type, Execute is a very good final choice. By the way, this guy uh, knows Barrage and Hypnosis. Barrage is basically, I think it's a Grass type version of Fury Cutter, but I'm not too sure. Uh, now he's about to use Gyarados. Um, one thing I do like is that you do have to fight, uh, all of Blue's battles in the correct order. I mean, you can't skip one of them, but, uh, now this is Gyarados. He's the evolution of, a uh, Magikarp. He evolves at, uh, level 20. Uh, Gyarados is probably one of the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, his attack and special stat are so high. His other stats are still pretty high, despite the fact that he's, you know, you know, he's got some of the highest attack and special in the game, and he's he's water type. He learned some of the best moves in in the game. I keep saying in the game all the time. Uh, this guy knows Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is like Sonic Boom, except it deals 40 damage. So be wary of that. Gyarados, by the way, is water flying type. It was originally going to be a dragon type, but then they uh, moved all the dragon types to the very end of the game. And by the very end of the game, I actually mean by the next city for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, now he's going to send out Kadabra. Uh, if I'm going to be a smart, I would really have kept Birdo out, but I guess I'm stuffed, so... But then again, his Kadabra is level 20. Don't be worried for his Kadabra. It's, it's kind of weak. Uh, by the way, his Gyarados would have known uh, Leer, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump is a very powerful water type attack. <laughs> and Dragon Rage, it's Dragon type, but it basically just deals 40 damage no matter what. Um, and yeah, the Gyarados is probably his toughest member on his team. Hooray! Uh, now he's going to be sending out his starter. His starter is not at its final evolution just yet. It's level 25. Uh, if you chose Bulbasaur, he's going to know Growl, Ember, Leer, and Rage. If you chose uh, Charmander, his War Turtle will have Tail Whip, Bubble, Water Gun, and Bite. Uh, really? That didn't work? Okay. And if you chose Squirtle, his Ivysaur is going to have Growl, Leech Seed, Vine Whip, and Poison Powder. See, I got rid of Growl and just used Tackle. And also, I got rid of Leech Seed and used Razor Leaf. Trust me, Razor Leaf is worth it every time. I'm not even going to... Like, I will use Razor Leaf instead of Tackle. Because it's that good. Like, look at that! It's not even very effective, and it does it does that much. And this guy is a starter. I mean, gra granted, yeah, we are 10 levels higher than him, so probably that's why it's so good, but... Oh, and that was a critical hit as well. Okay. Blue isn't that bad. By the way, his sprite changes. I think that's kind of interesting to note that from here on out, his sprite changes. Uh, but yeah. He caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak just yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I'd better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. It's a bit of a sad place, to be honest. Uh, I'm actually going to send out Bugaboom out front. I know you may be wondering, but why? Trust me, you will... Well, you don't really need Bugaboom out front, but... Uh, but anyway, yeah. Like, like, just be warned that there are going to be poison types. It's going to kind of get a bit awkward. So if you got your Bulbasaur out front, it's going to get a little bit tough. Uh, even we could not identify the wayward ghost. A Sylph Scope? Yeah. 
A Sylph Squad. By the way, Sylph is a, uh, is a big corporation in this game. It's... For some odd reason, they have a device that lets you see ghosts. This music, by the way. So we did find an escape rope. Okay, so we're going to find a new kind of trainer. This is the channeler. Every single channeler in this place owns a ghastly. Ghastly is a ghost poison type. There are only one family of ghosts in this game, and ghastly is it. Um, Nightshade is a very mean attack, let me tell you that. Look at this. Yeah. However, I know confusion. And that was even super effective. Ghastly, um... Hold on, I gotta scroll down. Uh, Ghastly, uh, has some pretty high speed, honestly. Uh, his special stat is also very good. Um, and also the fact that he is the only ghost type in the game makes him a very mean Pokemon. Because the thing is that, uh, normal type attacks cannot hit a ghost type Pokemon. Which basically means now I have to stick to Razor Leaf. I should really be using Bubba, actually. Bubba, Bubba can withstand this, the... They, they are pretty strong, though, I'll tell you that. Like, that. like, that was a lot of damage for... For, um... You know, just, like, not even a super effective attack. Um, so yeah. Uh, the only problem with Ghastly is, one, uh... He doesn't learn a lot of moves, that's just because he's poison type, and there's very few ghost type attacks in the game, actually. And the other thing is that, uh, his max evolution, Gengar, is a trade only, which is a bit of a shame. Be gone, evil spirit, what? It's like, who are you calling evil spirit? Am I right, am I right, am I right? So yeah, uh, there are a couple of things that we, um... By the way, uh, you don't have to go up uh, this tower right away. In fact, I'm not really recommending that you do. The problem is all of their Pokemon are kind of weak, and all the Pokemon in the next route are a fair bit strong. Oh, wow, I'm paralyzed. All the Pokemon in the next uh, route are a fair bit stronger than these guys. Seriously, seriously, these guys are... Wow, comboing much? I'm confused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Uh, Struda, I choose you. Ah. Uh, I think I might just abandon this. I know Scratch. That's not gonna work at all. Okay, well, there goes Struda. Uh,. Why have I just let myself into this scenario? You know what's the worst part? Every single Pokemon that you'll come up against is going to be Ghastly. Or possibly it's Evolution. There are a few that are it's Evolution. Well, I'm suffering a lot. And then I walk straight into another battle. Now, I do, I do want to keep on going because I think on the fourth floor, there is... Uh, a healing thing. I think the issue is that I just walked straight from... Yeah, Bubba's dead. Oh no, he's good. But he's dead. Because how am I going to... How... It will be magic if I seem to hit him. That was magic! Wow, that was magic right there. It's not going to kill him though. Yeah. Even with the crit, well, I guess not very effective, but... I'm actually just gonna let him die. Because if if there's the chance that I get him. Nope. Of course I hit myself. Uh Birdo, do your magic. Peck him. Yeah, for some odd reason Peck it seems to hit him, even though you would think it wouldn't. But it's flying type, so it seems to magically do that. What am I doing? Uh I will use one potion, but I don't know whether I need more, but... <laughs> this is very odd looking on my end, I'll tell you that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there are no hidden items, thankfully, but... 
I don't really know, like, what's going on. I don't know. Be cursed with me, Qua! Why? What is with all these people and cursing? I'm not a big fan of the cursing. Uh, so this is a channeler. Again, they're all channelers. I might as well just tell you that. Uh, by the way, um, you may be wondering, so there's no wild Pokemon coming up. What? That wasn't even critical. Why haven't I been using Birdo this whole time? Stuff it, I'm using Birdo. Stuff it. Uh, you may be wondering how come uh, we haven't been seeing any wild Pokemon. This is actually because they, you need a certain item in order to find the wild Pokemon. So that's why it's kind of convenient if you uh, clear off the tower right now, because then you don't need a... Technically, there are wild Pokemon in this area. But the ghosts can't be ID'd. Which is kind of interesting. If you try catching it, it doesn't seem to work. It just misses. And if you try attacking it, you are too scared to, to attack. And the ghost says, get out. Yeah, so do you agree with me that this place is kind of cre creepy? Because it is. Uh, we got another trainer down here. I'm actually just going to skip the trainers. So yeah. So this is a little bit easier if you can, uh, if you don't have the later item. Because then you don't need to worry about these wild Pokemon. You can easily run away and... So yeah. However, the wild Pokemon only appear on the third floor up. So... You do have to remember that. Um, th by the way, these are actually wild Pokemon. It just doesn't come up straight away. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was this floor. I, I was wondering, when do we heal? And it just so happens to be from this floor, basically. Uh, however, you will get stuck. There you go, you see that? Oh, I do have to fight... Oh, I don't have to fight you. Thanks. Oh my gosh, with the freaking ghosts and the ghosts and goblins and boblins and boasts. So that means I just used my potion and I didn't need it. Actually, yeah. This is a purified protected zone. And magically, all your Pokemon come up at full HP. This person goes, come child, I seal this space with white magic. I don't really know why. Zombies! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does zombies have to do with any of this? Uh, I think this channel may actually have... Nope. We will be able to see the evolution of Ghastly uh, somewhere in here. Um, but yeah. Jeez, why is Birdo doing so good? Oh, no. Birdo, you need one more level. Oh, good on you, Birdo. Good on you, Birdo. Okay. Ah! <laughs> uh, by the way, the stairs are somewhere. Oh, sweet, a nugget. Uh, those are all the items that you can get in the Pokemon Tower, by the way. The nugget is a, you know, it's a nice thing to have. We are getting a lot of money now, though. <laughs> Aha, here you go, Haunter. Haunter is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Look at those eyes. You cannot unsee the eyes. Uh, so anyway, Horner is the evolution of... Oh, gosh. Frickin' fates... No fade to black. Ugh. Um. Ugh, gosh. Birdo, no! Birdo, you were having such a good chance. Okay, so anyway, Horner's the evolution of Ghastly, oddly at level... Bleh, oddly at level 25, which is kind of... Kind of a bit of an interesting level to do with that. Uh, by the way, don't worry about the Haunters. The people who have Haunters only have one Pokemon. Which is fine. Woo! Uh, so yeah. And again, you don't have to worry about wild Pokemon. And also, <laughs> Purified Protected Area. Thank you, game, for that. Uh... Um, I, I choose not. Really. Ah, uh, there's the other Haunter. So yeah, 
Oddly, it evolves at level 25, and you don't seem to be fighting... The t There's only two Horners in this actual... in this whole tower, by the way. And you don't seem to fight them at level... Um... Uh, 25. Which is kind of odd. Uh, but yeah. However, there is the possibility that you can fight them at level 25, because uh, once you get the later item, the wild, there is a 1% chance of getting a uh, Wild Haunter on some of the lower floors. It actually ends up being a lot higher on higher floors. Give me blood. Yes! What is with this place? Okay, so... Like, yeah, I, I just want to talk about this, because the problem is... I, I guess one thing with this place is that it's basically a lot of Ghastlies. There's about like 12 trainers and they all have Ghastly and it's kind of boring because they all basically know the same move. Confuse Ray, Nightshade, and possibly Hypno... No, no, not Hypnosis, no. What do you know? This person has Ghastly. <laughs> Actually, I really should have used Mirror Move at one end. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um... I do think it's kind of, uh, I, I would like to know, what is the history with th th the developers and making a place that mourns the death of Pokemon, considering that in every other game, it is never said that Pokemon die, uh, specifically. Yeah, it is never said that Pokemon die specifically in later games. Um... Although, although I think I think they sometimes do. I think some of them have more over dead Pokemon. But it's just like it's just like you know, happy, happy, fun times. You it's like don't try anything funny in the dark. And then suddenly my Pokemon died. Oh, what a shame. Oh. I seem to not know that X accuracy there. By the way, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, this is the last trainer, and then I'm actually going to head down a little bit, because I did skip a few trainers. But yeah, I just want to... Oh, gosh, more items! Did I just not note any of the items on the sixth floor, or...? Yes, I actually did not note any of the items on the sixth floor. So that was the nugget, I seem to miss the, uh, the nugget. That was the X accuracy, and... That means that this next item is a rare candy. That's nice. I should actually be using these rare candies, but I... Uh, actually, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saving the rare candies for the... By the way, Lick, Ghost-type. Doesn't hit normal. Nightshade, I think, is actually Psychic-type. I uh, Something fell out. Okay, sure. Uh, you need to pick up this rare candy. Which basically means if you have no inventory space, you can't proceed. However... It's a level 30 ghost, jeez. This is a timed encounter, by the way. You can't do anything about it. And then you get chucked out. So, basically... Yeah, this is why I said this whole place is optional. because, Or at least for now. Because when you get to the end there, there's only one thing you can do, and that is a glitch. <laughs> it's actually a very easy-to-do glitch. Uh, there was a later item in the game called a Pokey Doll. You can use the... Basically, what the Poké Doll does is that it puts down a Poké Doll, and it allows you to run from battle 100%. If you use a Poké Doll, for some odd reason, it counts as killing the ghost or defeating the ghost, which technically means you kind of you can skip an entire dungeon in the game. Yeah, you can skip a whole dungeon in the game, and it is actually very ridiculous. Under possession? Repossession? <laughs> you shall join us! So yeah, I still don't exactly know what is the story behind these guys, but they have Ghastlies and I do not. So yeah. Fortunately, there are no hidden items in this area, but it does get a little bit annoying just kind of going up a uh, fairly a fairly large tower. It is a longish place when you when you think about it it's just kind of it's not it's not large in terms of map size uh so anyway yeah i gotta fight you ghost no qua <laughs> um sure yeah 
So yeah, now hopefully we'll be done with this floor and then I'll just teleport out. Ghastly! So yeah. I, th I think uh, someone in the Let's Play race, in the 4 player race, of the Pokemon Generations race, noted that Ghastly Sprite literally looks like the spray can effects in paint. And I think that is so true. Because, yeah, in later games, Ghastly is more like a, a floating orb with a bit of gas. In fact, this ghost, this sprite of a ghost, ends up being like Ghastly, except without the hands, but... Ghastly ends up looking more like that than anything else. I've fought you, right? So anyway, we got one more trainer, I believe. Because I think we fought everyone else on the bottom floors. I'm surprised how effective Peck is. Ouch. I bonked the headset. So anyway, that was the Pokemon Tower. It's a little bit uneventful, yes, because you can't really do anything except for fight blue. And then head up. Teleport my... Oh, I can't use teleport? Okay. Well... <laughs> We can go down two floors. I'm surprised you can't even use teleport here. You think you would? By the way, I think it's very interesting that you can't seem to ID the ghosts. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's just like, yeah, of course, they're dead. Why do you... <laughs> they're dead. Of course your Pokédex wouldn't work, wouldn't it? But it's just like... Why wouldn't it work? Oh, so, sorry, um, like, why, why are these ghosts attacking you? Is something upsetting the ghosts? Is something, is something affecting the ghosts? Why are they attacking you? Why are they not attacking any of the challenge? Well, they probably are the challenge. They're just staying still so they don't get any encounters. Why, why has it got creepy music? Why is it like a reception area down here? So anyway, with that... Uh, Pokemon Tower. Uh, however, because I've cleared basically the entire tower, uh, once we have to go back in, I will pretty much just rush through. I don't really need to fight anyone on the way. So anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then. Do, 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 Oh, that high-pitched stuff. <laughs> that high-pitched bit. Oh...